welcome back to the channel everybody today i'm picking up a load out of uh topton pennsylvania east pen manufacturing uh it's actually a drop and hook i had the option of dropping and hooking or live load but they were able to get it uh preloaded so i'm here at the empty area i gotta drop this trailer here um bobtail over to the other section over there pick up my trailer and uh, take this on over to Memphis, Tennessee. So it's a load of batteries. It's not my favorite load by any means, but it got me out of the east. Um, it's about 42,000 pounds hazmat. I'm not sure if it's placarded or not, but we'll find out. We're gonna go over here and uh, get this trailer. See what all this looks like. See if it's strapped down, secured like it should be. All that good stuff. This is the trailer number they gave me. It was a 691261. So, I should have set that right there. The guy said it should be over here somewhere. So, we shall see. I believe that's it right there. There it is. It does not have e track. That sucks. up a little bit get all the way up underneath it See what all we need to do as far as the oh jeez I got this backwards I've always made it a rule to put them in order it's just you don't have to put this one on and try to fight over there you just put them in order take them off in order makes things a lot easier what I've learned over time at least good gosh Let the truck air up a little bit. It's heavy. My favorite. I love ice. <laughs> Does have some sort of e track, that's good. That sucks. Alright. Well, at least it's blocked, that's good. They blocked the pallets down, so I don't technically have to strap it, but I'm gonna put a strap back there, anyways. make it dark in here hopefully that'll stay like that oh good they're all blocked 
Oh, this is gonna suck, because this load is so far forward. My only option is to put my tandems all the way forward. shows a weight on here so I can see how much we're actually dealing with. 38,640 pounds. Well that is definitely better than 42 which is what I thought it would be. God I don't like the way this is done. But it's better than sitting over there getting live loaded. I gotta make sure I don't bust my butt getting down out of here. All right. Now I have to go lift the freaking landing gear. Thought my truck was gonna raise it up, but apparently not. I think it's because of the angle it's at. Oh. Alright, that's up. This is a friggin' joke. Jeez Louise. This is low gear, obviously, or high gear, I guess. My mud flaps are sitting on the ground. bending And no air. Gotta put air in the system first before I can slide the tandems. All right. This is dumb. Gonna slide the tandems here. And then. Just take some pressure off of those. 
slide them bad boys forward a notch or two try to get some of this weight off the drives back around get back on the scale feel a little more comfortable with the tandems all the way forward with the way the load is I don't think that's intended to be used outside. <laughs> Any faster, Captain. I'm giving her all she's got. She won't take no more. <laughs> oh. guys get a scale too huh Flirting, isn't it? Woo! 33, 7, 20. I'll go with that. We's legal, boys. Let's get the flock out of here. While we are waiting in line to get out of this place, um, I've already checked out, so I don't have to stop the guard check. I just have a truck in front of me. So once he gets done doing what he needs to do, um, I'll be able to pull out of here. So uh, I want to show you all the bathroom at the Petro. Uh, I did post this next little video on my Instagram at nomad.trucker. Um, I think it's time that the truck stops uh, are held accountable for what they're doing. They have, I've expressed my concerns with the prepaid parking, reserve parking, whatever they want to call it. They have way too much of it. Uh, they just don't care. I went back in the Petro this morning. Um, after I took a shower and all that stuff last night there. And I, I was like, I want to see what they have as far as like roller grill items. Nothing. Not a single thing. They don't have anything. Nothing you can heat up. They got a half-assed coffee bar. They just 
which is more proof that they just don't care. So watch this and uh, we'll get back to it. All right, so I got a bone to pick with TA Petro. You guys advertise that your showers are hospital grade clean. Um, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Not only do I have a problem with this, because you guys all the time are saying, oh, we appreciate truck drivers and thank you for what you do. This begs to differ. Um, not only do you have way too many prepaid parking spots, everything is overpriced, but regardless of that, we're gonna talk about the shower situation. This is the shower in Scranton, Pennsylvania, the Petro. Let me show you what this looks like. Isn't that wonderful? All the way down and around. It gets better. That's disgusting. This is the stool they give you to sit on. It just keeps getting better. This looks absolutely a hospital grade clean, doesn't it? I was thinking to myself, why aren't they using bleach? Why aren't they actually cleaning it? Because buying chemicals like that would cut into their profits. They don't care. That's the problem. Yet, COVID, in a world of COVID, we gotta sanitize everything, wear masks, all that stuff. The restaurant here shut down. Yet, this is what the showers look like. Thank you, truck drivers. TA Petro, you need to get your crap together. This is freaking ridiculous. This is unacceptable. We are out of here. This turn out of here has always sucked. Been here a few times with Landstar and with another company. As long as nobody's coming, we're good. <laughs> no, there's a big old truck coming too. He's gonna have to wait if he's turning this way. it snowed <laughs> it's pretty that's freaking cold crazy to think that this place is back here in this residential area. 
like right in the middle of town. Could be worse. Yep. I'm sitting in traffic. I guess there's construction up here on 322 and they're saying either somebody broke down or there was a wreck. All these four wheelers keep turning around. Which I find hilarious. But it works out, it gets us a little closer, doesn't it? Oh, they're doing it behind me. Jeez. Disregard all the rules of the road protocol. Well, it just do what we want. Hmm. All right. How far do you think I can go with my turn signal on like that? Love this sign. Great cars, great prices. It's got a flat tire. <laughs> it's amazing all the funny stuff you see on the road. Cutting into my home time, people. Come on. Good stuff. Uh, we'll get back to it here in a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am in uh, Greenville, Tennessee, here on 81 just south of the Bristol line. I stayed at the Welcome Center last night in Bristol on the southbound side, obviously, but for those not paying attention. <laughs> uh, it's the sign out there, there's signs all over the place. It says two hour max parking, no overnight parking. Well, just about everybody that was there parked for two hours or for overnight. And I obviously did. I was concerned that I was gonna get up this morning and have a, uh, like a ticket on the window or something, but I didn't. There was no issues, because it said strictly enforced, so. No issues there. The problem is the, the damn parking lot slopes so far down that like you, you roll out of bed. I had to fight most of the night just to stay in bed so I wouldn't roll out got a pretty drastic slope. Maybe not all through the whole parking lot, but where I was, kind of about right in the middle, it was just really far down. But it's all good. I got some sleep. Did my tan. Got back up. Made some coffee. I love this coffee pot. It's so much better than making coffee in a regular conventional coffee pot because I just stick my cup right underneath it and it fills it up. I don't have to worry about a pot or anything like that. And the filter that's in it, it's just got a little small filter that you can put a cake up in or grounds. I obviously use grounds and it, it's super easy. You just It's got a fill line, fill it up to one point. So it's like a tablespoon or two of coffee grounds, maybe a little more than that. And just put a, I put one of the water bottles, it'll take a whole water bottle and it'll fill the cup up to, you know, a quarter inch from the top of the cup, which is perfect. It gives me room to add my sugar and uh, creamer. Nice, I mean, for 20 bucks, I'm happy with it. And the 
filter just rinses out. So I just rinse it out, rinse it out in the sink and put more grounds in and get it ready for the next morning. Just push the button when I get up. seen on Instagram but forever sharp steering wheels was doing a contest of who can tell the best holy shit moment of 2020 and they uh, there was 59 comments and all and they picked the top six and put it to a vote for everybody else to vote on who the best one is and uh, so me and five other people are being voted on. So we'll find out later today who wins. Uh, I'm hoping I do. They're giving away a new half wrap steering wheel. So that'll be nice. But uh, yeah, I'd like a new steering wheel. This white is just so funky already. I love this steering wheel. I love the white, but it's just a cheap steering wheel. But nonetheless, it's a nice steering wheel. We'll have to see what what happens with the contest. I will definitely keep you guys updated in this video. Find out. If I win or whoever else wins or whatever. It's exciting. So yeah, regardless, go check out their page if you haven't. The, I'll leave a link in the description below. The forever sharp steering wheels. They got steering wheels you can put on anything. Semi-trucks, go-karts, golf carts, classic cars, classic trucks, any of it. And you can put these steering wheels. They got them from big factory style steering wheels to 14 inch steering wheels. And they got a slew of products, but you guys gotta go check them out. Uh, no, I'm not being paid by them either. Just, I like their products. I just, I discovered them recently after I bought this steering wheel. So I just can't justify buying one at this very moment because I just paid for this one, so. But. If I don't win this one that they're trying to give away, I will definitely be buying one at some point. I got the red light on my pre-pass there, so we're gonna go through the scale. Looks like everybody's getting sucked into it, so. No crap. You think a way station is ahead? Jeez.
because they can. the camera on whenever I started pulling this hill but we're up it I've been doing 50 plus mile an hour here yeah the clouds are freaking beautiful this is amazing I would love to live up here the truck did good I got up to like 35 pounds of boost I don't know how much is too much for one of these things but it just seems like quite a bit of boost and downshift again there but yeah, I didn't get under 50. Been doing good. Getting up this hill with this almost 42,000. Or 38,000, whichever one's correct. The bills say 41 and some change. The paperwork on the on the actual ship receiver copy, whatever is back there, the shipping. Whatever it is. Packing list. Jeez, why was that so hard? It says 38,000 to change, so. Dude, it sounds like you're chewing on the damn mic.
season. Like, I wonder how much that pays. I want to look into it, because that'd be kind of... I'm sure the hours would suck. No tell. I mean, if it starts snowing at 2 o'clock in the morning, you got to get out there and de-icing or anti-icing, whatever they call it, plowing snow. And, you, know, you could have a nice long day from that. That just seems... Seems like it'd be fun, because obviously you see like immediate results, but I'm sure it's dangerous as hell too. Random hours like that. And I've seen like every year, somebody gets killed by a snowplow truck driver, which sucks. be the 
the benefit considering my personal experience I've never had an issue with these Seventy west, turn right. Turn left to go seventy, really? Okay, all right. Because it says at the sign seventy west, turn right. Okay, I'm turning left. This will go down and around. I got off at the 301, like I said. a truck jackknifed. in the situation now you're getting me out of it so I appreciate it <laughs> it's all good I kind of had a feeling that was the wrong way I'm like I don't know it said 70 west I should have just went but that also went into town so I wasn't sure if it was like the the roundabout or like the, the outer loop of town so no you're good I mean we've never had that issue before so and you've done this dozens of times on Google for me, so. gonna run into now I think is all the well, there's a lot of CB traffic of get off at the 301 yeah
Yeah, but you don't run 70 like this, though. At least we're on track to go around the wreck now. <laughs> uh, this is twice I went the wrong direction. Back there in, in Denver, in the last video I did, I went, I got on 70 West. And I was like, man, these mountains are beautiful. And they just keep getting closer. Then I'm like, wait a minute. They, I should be going away from the mountains. <laughs> like 18 miles I went the wrong freaking way that they're stopped, but good that I didn't go that way.
gracious. I was talking on a CB. Intense for a two lane highway out here with a 55 mile an hour speed limit. Goodness gracious. This reminds me of the uh, the old school route on around Mont Eagle. If you go up through town there, that's that's pretty wild. It's a lot like this. Imagine having a tanker load doing this, but that would be really dicey. Whipping it back and forth. Shift again. Same 
not trying to do all that.
side there. Pretty interesting roads. Well, I'm gonna call my wife and let her know that I'm back on the big road. Let her know how far out I am. We'll see you guys in a bit. I think that's how this works. This is weird. Apparently I'm going the wrong way. Come on that side, you come over here. Thank you. What's the highway? 4460 East Helms Road. Waterfall 60? Yeah. That's next door. So I gotta go back, gotta okay. Go back there, but look, don't run in now and turn around and back okay. out and make a right and make a shot right. Okay, thank you. GPS is lying. <laughs> no, I thought it was a little weird pulling in here. It's a little strange. Oh, geez, this is. Maneuvering like this real quick makes me think of the tanker drivers, like Nomadic Brit. You guys gotta check out his channel. He's a Schneider tanker driver, and he just kind of goes through the life of a tanker. Like, just kind of starts showing it. He's a new channel. He's still learning. What are you flashing your light at me for? What? I'm not walking back there, brother. Here's all you have to say. Taking it to a different address? <laughs> we gotta check out. Uh, no, I, I pulled in the wrong way. I'm supposed to go to 4460. The other guard told me to turn around and go. Okay. So that's all. Thank you. <laughs> he said, you gotta check out. What is she doing with this? Taking it with me? <laughs> Their little flashlights work well though. 
Those strobe lights they carry? <laughs> into that other location like Amazon this doesn't seem right what if Eric's been to that location yet in Memphis oh they gonna let me park here overnight or not and they got security everywhere don't they get unloaded tonight maybe looks like this place has a crap load of people here So they told me to drive around to the other side of the building. Apparently there was a sign at the entrance that said deliveries to the right. I didn't see that. But they uh, he told the guard that I'd be staying here tonight and check in with him in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping some of these gifts that I got back here. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning when we get this thing offloaded. All right, so apparently my camera died uh, in the middle, middle of me trying to film backing up so that didn't work out but uh got it charged so we're good uh got empty i had to call dispatch and get a confirmation number to get unloaded they wouldn't just take the bills you need a confirmation number so got empty let's see here got the little wood left in there I got my strap so that's good yeah glad to have that load off of me that was heavy but it's all good um, all right so now that that's done um, I mentioned about the the steering wheel with the forever sharp uh, contest and giveaway and all that stuff so make sure you guys go check out their page uh, they're on Instagram as well I'll put all that in the description down below um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it I, I know I mentioned an install video but I, I might uh, turn around and do a giveaway with it as well but I don't know we'll uh, have to see how it goes see uh, see how it looks I might keep it I don't know um, but there will be a giveaway coming up soon with the Christmas spirit and all that good stuff. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned because we will have uh, some pretty good giveaways coming up soon. Uh, my wife is definitely, definitely going to be more involved in this channel uh, than she has been in the past. So looking forward to that. Um, that woman is freaking hilarious. But uh, yeah, stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. And y'all stay safe. Have a Merry Christmas. Be good out there. Don't have too much fun. You know the whole deal. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.